Tesla FSD beta continues to expand and popularity grows. Elon Musk announced that Tesla will add a new FSD download beta button. Today, Musk explained how it will work. But there is also some confusion about Tesla FSD's real capability. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Please give us thumbs up if this report is helpful. Elon Musk recently remarked that Tesla would be releasing a download beta button for FSD users. The button, which is part of the company's efforts to expand the FSD beta users base, is expected to be released with the build 8.3 update. In a recent set of tweets, uh, Musk shared some additional details about the upcoming FSD download beta button as well as the future estimated release date. Now, friends, Musk's update came as a response to Model 3 owner uh, who tweets at Whole Mars Block who asked if the upcoming button would place Tesla owners in a quay for the, uh, would, uh, in a quay for the FSD beta. According to Musk, using the feature would actually allow vehicles to download the latest QA uh, tested FSD beta build as soon as the car connects to a Wi-Fi network. Remember the other day I said that you have to uh, send an email with certain information, but now apparently you can do it once your car, car has Wi-Fi network with a button. Here is how that tweeting exchange between Mars uh, uh, and whole Mars blog and Elon Musk went on Twitter. He asked, Elon, what does the download FSD button do? Does it put you in the quay to get FSD beta or download it immediately for anyone who has FSD and wants to try it? Ask Holmar's blog. In other words, does it? do I need to still send an email or this is enough? To this, Elon Musk replied tweeting, Assuming user approves warning and agrees to drive carefully, it will download the latest QA tested FSD beta build as soon as car connects to Wi-Fi. Hmm. In a later tweet, the Tesla CEO added that the FSD beta's build 8.3 should be done QA testing by the end of the following week, which should be around the same time the download beta button should show uh, up in user's vehicle. When asked if the FSD beta will be expanded in Europe, Musk noted that Tesla would be asking regulators for potential release in a region in the region as well. That means Tesla has to ask the European regulators first and then uh, see if it can be made available in Europe. Now, the release of FSD betas built. 8.3 has been teased by the Tesla CEO in recent days, with Musk stating that the update would present approximately 1,000 improvements to the advanced driver assist system. Driver assist system, keep this in mind because I'm going to talk about that. Musk posted a warning that the QA process for FSD build uh, 8.3 would take some time, though he remarked that the update's release is definitely coming. Now, in this regard, Elon literally wrote, Build 8.3 of FSD should be done QA testing by end of next week. So that's roughly when download button should show up. So next week, you probably will see a download button in your Tesla if you have the FSD. The first iteration of the FSD beta was released in late October last year. And since then, the system has received several important updates from the electric car maker. Videos shared by members of the company's select group of FSD beta testers show vehicles operating almost like a human driver at times. Other demonstrations of the future even included trips from San Francisco to Los Angeles with no human intervention. A little bit later, I'm going to tell you something that was revealed yesterday about the FSD's capabilities in terms of uh, certification. Simon Alvarez from Tesla Rapid notes that the full self-driving suite is a key pillar of Elon Musk's vision for the future of transportation. As he noted during Autonomy Day, Tesla eventually plans to release a network of autonomous robot taxis that utilizes FSD's full hands-off version. Granted, Tesla's FSD beta still requires drivers to keep their hands at the wheel and monitor the road closely, but if build 8.3 is indeed as impressive as Elon Musk suggests, the upcoming update could prove to be a definitive step towards achieving this autonomy. 
Regarding FSD, there is also a big confusion that was revealed yesterday. I went to present, I actually want to present it to you and see what you guys think of it, where and where we go with this. Yesterday, the media started reporting that Tesla admits current full self-driving beta will always be a level two system. I don't know why they say will always be because things improve, times improve, but at least for now. Emails to a Tesla regulatory council told the California DMV that it will remains, uh, remain a hands-on system. Rob Stumpf explains in the drive, uh, the, the website drive, the drive, that the promises that the promises of hands-free driving and robo taxis have swirled in the dreams of drivers and investors ever since Tesla first teased the possibility of consumer-grade autonomous vehicle. Despite this promise, Tesla has yet to release a fully autonomous car for the public to purchase it. It does, however, still allow customers to buy the promise of the full self-driving FSD set of futures for their vehicles, which currently fit the SAE definition of level two partial autonomy. Keep in mind, the only level three right now certified every uh, in one place in Japan is Honda Legend. Tesla is still level two. So what exactly is Tesla teasing in its newest FSD beta advanced driver assistance system build? As it turns out, a recently uncovered series of emails between Tesla and the California Department of Motor Vehicles indicates that while the automaker's ADAS system systems are greatly improving, I mentioned this, greatly improving, hands-free driving is not coming to a Tesla near you in the immediate future. It may be in years uh, or in a year or two, but not in the immediate future. Last October, Tesla released an over-the-air update to limited participants, which it called FSD Beta, something which may um, many understood to be an early release of Tesla's long-promised hands-off suite. By December, around 200 individuals were granted access to the program, 54 of whom were non-Tesla employees, though this likely changed as CEO Elon Musk reported that Tesla had nearly 1,000 people participating in the beta in January. Those included in the FSD beta began driving their vehicles around and recording the vehicle's performance to post online. FSD beta, which is formally called Auto Steer on CD Streets. Let me repeat that again. FSD beta is formally called Auto Steer, Auto Steer on CD Streets that is part of the full self-driving suite of ADAS Futures and not a standalone component that enables hands-free driving, as some might anticipate. This connotation exacerbated uh, the confusion sparked by the full self-driving branding and provoked an email from the California DMV. Said email requested that Tesla immediately provide clarification on the full self-driving beta functionality to ensure that the automaker was not testing on California roads without the proper permit to deploy such a future. CD Streets continues to firmly root the vehicle in SAE Level 2 capability and does not make it autonomous under the DMV's definition, wrote Eric Williams, Tesla Associate General Counsel, in a statement attached to an email with the California DMV. Level 2. Here's another quote. City streets capabilities with respect to the object and event detection and response subtasks are limited as there are circumstances and events to which the system is not capable of recognizing or responding. End of a quote. Williams went on to define such circumstances as adverse weather, complicated or adversarial vehicles in the driving path construction zones, emergency vehicles, large uncontrolled intersections with multiple incoming ways, occlusions, road debris, static objects, and unmapped roads, all things 
which one would expect a vehicle with level 3 or higher partial autonomy to be able to identify and rem uh, remediate or at least notify the driver to take over. So uh, the, I just mentioned a lot of things that Tesla mentioned that we almost see every day in our roads. So please be careful. It's still level 2. Further reading indicates that Tesla's current FSD beta is limited to the inclusion of updated visualization and auto steer, auto steer on city streets, not any form of hands-off driving as many members of the public anticipated given the name. This alone has caused a great deal of confusion from current and prospective owners, questioning whether or not FSD would be future complete, which CEO Elon Musk said would happen by the end of 2019, and if, the, if that meant Tesla would achieve level 5 autonomy by the time the FSD beta would be released to all drivers. I personally don't think that quick Tesla will achieve level uh, 5 autonomy. It's still level 2. First has to go level 3. So further confusion was brewed as Musk tweeted about self-drive drive, uh, self, uh, self by playing video games. This occurred around the time of the emails being sent to the California DMV, and it almost certainly added to the uncertainty as other Twitter users even responded to the tweet asking for access to the full self-driving beta so they could try it out. In a fairness, however, Tesla does list auto steer on city streets as a feature of full self-driving of FSD. However, making the determination that the FSD beta is not a preview of Tesla's hands-off driving experience is not as easy. Tesla is also notorious for changing around what is included in its $10,000 full self-driving menu offering. So it's quite possible that hands-free driving may be introduced at a later date under a different future name. If nothing else, this further proves that the world of self-driving is built on a hill of confusing semantics. The definition of partial autonomy seems to be hands-off driving to others, and such a small designation is enough to create serious risk this type of marketing can be dangerous, concludes Rob Stumpf in its article published in The Drive. I have the link in the description of this video, so please check it out. Well, friends, let me know what you think about this new FSD um, download now beta download beta button, which is coming next week. And uh, what do you think about FSD being level 2 and all the risks that I just mentioned that has been revealed between a communication between Tesla and California DMV. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. Please give us thumbs up and like this video if this re information was uh, report was informative and helpful. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section below. Have a great day, friends. See you soon.